Today we're going to discuss the 2023 model year changes for the Chevy Tahoe. So the list of model year changes for the 2023 Tahoe is relatively small compared to the 2022 model year. Now I'm not going to cover much of the 2022 model year, but I will throw a couple of screenshots here on the screen just so you guys get an idea of what changed during the last model year. And uh, today we'll dive into the 2023 model year changes. So the way these are broken down is by deletions, new features, and changes to options or packaging. So at the top we have three color deletions of satin steel metallic, evergreen gray metallic, and cherry red tint coat. And right below that is something that might be a little concerning, but I would not worry too much. I believe it's just an order code change for the leather wrapped steering wheel because down in the new feature section, there is still a uh, wrapped steering wheel option. So I think that's just more of an order code uh, deletion type of thing rather than deleting the leather wrap steering wheel which would be a uh, huge deal in my opinion. Now going back up to the deleted colors the evergreen gray metallic was actually added for 2022 so that means it's a one model year color which is pretty rare anymore uh, especially on a regular vehicle like this and not a specialty like sports vehicle or anything like that. So that was a one model year color. Cherry red tint coat's been out for uh, two to three years um, so that's not surprising that they were going to replace it with a new red and the satin steel metallic has been around for quite some time as well. So moving on to the new features, we have three new colors to replace those three outgoing colors. So the three new colors are silver sage metallic, radiant red tint coat, and sterling gray metallic. So Chevy is not going to get rid of red entirely. So that's where the radiant red tint coat comes in. I'm sure it's just a little bit different than the cherry red tint coat. Uh, the silver sage and sterling grays are just probably two new gray hues uh, based on the grayscale family. So it's not surprising to see uh, some new grays coming in as well. So just below those new colors, of course, we have the wrapped steering wheel, which again, I believe is just a new order code for the leather wrapped steering wheel option. Below that, we have the 22 inch bright aluminum wheels with midnight silver premium paint. That should be very interesting to see. Uh, 22s on Tahoe's always look really good. So um, interesting to see what that looks like. Below that we have 22 inch selective machine carbon flash wheels. Now that is an interesting one because that is the carbon flash that is used on the Corvettes a lot of times. So that color is a pretty dark gray metallic color. And I guess selective machining means there's probably some machining done to the face of the wheel for bright spots on the carbon flash backdrop. So that will be an interesting looking wheel for sure. Uh, below that we have the black grill with the Chevy lettering, the LPO, which I guess is a dealer installed option if I had to guess. And below that is the big one, is that Super Cruise is now going to be available on the 2023 Tahoe and 2023 Suburban moving forward. So what's a little bit concerning with the Super Cruise availability is that GM does not have a date or estimate as to when it will become available to my knowledge. My guess is with the supply chain issues and shortages going on right now is that we will not see it until later in the 2023 model year at best. Now diving into the changes here at the bottom of the page, we have the adaptive cruise control and enhanced automatic emergency braking are now standard on the high country trim of the Tahoe and below that it just details the changes to the packaging because of those becoming standard they are now removed out of the uh, premium package and premium package 2 on the, the high country Tahoe so that's all that means at the bottom is that the adaptive cruise and enhanced emergency braking are now standard on the high country rather than being part of the optional packages as before so that's pretty much going to do it for the 2023 model year changes at this point. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful in planning your 2023 Tahoe purchase. Obviously, we're in a really weird market right now. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions on future video topics down in the comment section below, and I'll definitely answer every single one of them. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.